Science of Reading is an ever-evolving body of research that investigates best practices in reading instruction. And what this research has found is that there are five main areas that are fundamental to early reading instruction. And those areas are phonemic awareness, phonics, fluency, vocabulary, and comprehension. Phonemic awareness and phonics is really important in developing readers because they need to have the ability to hear the individual sounds in words in order to be able to spell them. And they need to be able to hear how to blend the individual sounds in words when they hear them so that they're able to read more fluently. Phonemic awareness is the ability to identify and manipulate the individual sounds in words. Phonics is the ability to understand the relationship between letters and sounds. The science of reading really means to me really understanding how kids learn how to read and all of the different components of reading. And even if kids are missing one of those core components, it really impacts their learning. So as a teacher, just knowing all of the strands and being able to figure out where kids are at each of those strands has allowed me to teach better and to grow my students. I think first of all that we started in a good place as we were getting information on the science of reading. Some districts had resources that really did not correlate with what we were learning. We were very lucky that our K2 literacy program, Super Kids, from the beginning had elements in it that are necessary to teach kids how to read according to the brain research. We were ahead of the game, I think, there. In McGuanago, we use a resource called Super Kids. Super Kids contains the five big ideas that are essential in early literacy instruction. In kindergarten through second grade, we have also partnered Super Kids with a phonemic awareness program called Hegarty. We need a good resource to teach reading because we want our teachers efforts to be on what's happening in the classroom with the kids in front of them. Uh, we want the data to be able to speak to what kids are learning or not learning and be able to adjust to that. Last year, all of our kindergarten through second grade teachers received an intensive training called Letters. Letters stands for Language Essentials for Teachers of Reading and Spelling. Through this training, teachers learned instructional practices to implement in their classrooms to help their students become better readers. With any good training, it is only successful if there is professional development that follows that up. Our school district is lucky enough to have instructional coaches in each of its elementary schools. I support teachers to become better reading instructors by helping them to reflect on their current instructional practices and also reflecting on new learning that they've um, acquired through professional development and their letters training. Following that process, I work with teachers to set goals around instructional practices that they would like to bring into their classroom routines and I support them with modeling and guidance along the way. Since implementing SuperKids and Hegarty as our resource, we have seen a 25% increase in the number of first graders who are proficient at the end of the year on our early reading screener. As a reading professional who has a master's degree in reading and language arts, I would equate this program to a master's level in reading instruction. I think what's really exciting is when I run into to families of little ones in our community and they're not only saying that they're having the aha moments at home where their children are learning how to read, but they're also talking about the characters that they're meeting and uh, stories that have come to life and that we're interweaving uh, an excitement for reading while we're teaching kids how to read at an early grade. We have seen major growth in teachers, in teacher leaders, and in our students. I feel like I feel more confident in my teaching and being able to create and share things with other teachers. My students this year, I feel like have made amazing growth in their phonemic awareness, in their spelling, in their writing. They're sharing what they learn in my class with their parents or other teachers in the building. So on top of just becoming growing as learners, they're also growing as leaders.